So what will happen if we want to freeze a layer that it's in a block, your entire XREF will disappear. And this happens because this is an XREF. And if we open that XREF, we can see that it is a block that all of the geometry inside the block are on layer zero. So to solve this problem, we use the CUI to access our customized user interface. And since we are going to modify our workspace, I like to duplicate this uh, workspace, the current one, by right clicking on it and say duplicate. We can right click and set current. So that means that we're going to now modify this copy of our workspace and ribbon and tools. So if later on we don't like it or we have any problems, at any time we can go back to the workspace that we started with and right click and say set current. We are ready to go back and find or expand our ribbon, go to our panels, uh, which are all of these panels right here on the ribbon, and we can scroll down and layers right there. AutoCAD already have this drop down uh, feature. If you can see right here on the block panel, you can see right here that there is a triangle over here. That's the drop down feature that we're trying to emulate. So uh, the lazy architect the way is simply find this drop down and copy that or duplicate it and then edit it. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to find the blog in this case, but I'm, I'm going to expand this. So I don't, so I have, I can quickly go back. So I'm going to expand the layers first, like so, and then I'm going to find the block panel. So home to D and block, where is block? Here we go. This is it. That's the panel block that we were looking for. And this is the drop down feature that I want to copy. So I can click on it and that way AutoCAD will immediately expand that out for me. So over here, what I like to do is right click and simply say duplicate. So that way uh, I don't have to recreate this from scratch, right? Drag that command all the way up by clicking and holding it. And I'm going to drag it all the way up to my home layers. So I'm going to go and add it right there for now on the row one, like so, right? So that's the, the drop down command. Now I'm going to rename this so that way I don't get confused. So I'm going to rename this like so rename, and this would be the freeze, the freeze command. So I'm going to use capital letters for now, just to differentiate from the rest. So I don't get confused. So I know the capital letters is the one that I created. Okay. Now what we need next is to try to find the exact location for the freeze command, right? Because otherwise we will add this drop down feature to a random command and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the freeze command and AutoCAD is smart enough to find these freeze command on this uh, customized interface, which is great. So that's the freeze command. Now, where is our freeze dropdown? It's right here. Great. That's why I um, renamed this with capital letters so I don't get confused between both. I'm going to select it and hold on it. I'm going to release it right about there. Okay. So now I have these two freeze command. One is a drop down and the other one is not. So what I like to do is expand on this freeze drop down, right? So we can see better. And now instead of having a um, single command over here for the attribute and multiple for the attribute, uh, this was copied. This came from the previous duplicate that we did. So I can remove this by right clicking on it and say remove and say yes don't worry about um, removing this because the command even though we are removing it from this area 
the command will still exist right here on this command list so now i'm gonna move this freeze command and put it right down these primary commands and that way i will have my freeze command right there and i can quickly remove this other command doing the same procedure right click say remove and yes now great so i have my freeze drop down now, now you can see to kind of refresh and see the changes you can click or double click over here on home and you will see now that the freeze command has a drop down feature which is great now now that we somehow um generated this um this option right here what i like to do is we want to duplicate the freeze command to create these three different options right for freezing a block freezing a layer within a block and then the regular freeze what i'm gonna do is uh, over here on the command list i'm gonna find this freeze command so let me freeze or freeze let's see okay it's right here layer layer freeze that's the uh, command so let's let's say let's see oops let me fix this so you can see better so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove this uh, this command from the in interface i'm gonna remove it and say yes and that's the freeze command right there okay so this is the regular freeze command and for the regular freeze command the macro code will be the non option right we don't want to select a b a block with the b with the b character that's not what we want we only want to say non so i'm going to change the n for non over here so that means we're changing the settings block and then we're saying non so that's the regular freeze command i'm gonna hit apply right now for the next command um, for the next freeze i'm gonna select that same freeze command that we created and i'm gonna duplicate it but in this case i'm gonna duplicate it from this command list so look what happened when i do that now i will have indeed two freeze command so that's the way to do it don't duplicate it here on the on the customized interface duplicate it right here under the command list so now we can go ahead and say layer freeze and say block right that's what we want and now we can change this and instead of saying n for none we can say b for block so once we hit apply and now we will have the layer freeze block command and we can quickly click and drag it all the way up here and release it and now we will have the freeze and then the freeze block so i'm gonna also add the name over here so i'm gonna say freeze block like so and then hit apply so now you can see that when i change to the regular freeze that's the non option for, with the n i'm going to go to the freeze block that's the b option for freezing blocks so uh, in the same way i'm going to do the same procedure So now we have the three different options for our freeze command and it's a time for testing these options. Will those options work? If you are aiming to save time, here are 10 essential tips and tricks to try out.